G'day, this is Paul from Democast Media. I'm here to help you make better training videos and just want to thank uh, those who will be watching later on uh, this live stream. So I'm here to help you reap the benefits of screen capture, whether you want to make better training videos or software demonstrations or to use it in the workplace to get more things done. If you're a gamer who wants to uh, be able to record what's on your screen, if, if you're trying to make anything to do with visual communication. That's what this channel is all about, so thank you. So I'll jump straight into this. Um, I wasn't planning on doing anything today, but I received a question from a, a new subscriber, so that was from the firm in UK, so thanks for subscribing. Um, here was his question. He's, he was responding to a video that I did um, last month, and he, his basic question was this. I tried Screencast-O-Matic. I didn't really like it. Why didn't you recommend Camtasia as you use it so well? So that was the, the short of it. And um, this was the situation. I had received a call from a, a friend I hadn't heard from a long time. And he was calling me to find out what screen recorder he should use. He wanted something that was simple to use and uh, that would be a, a simple video editor. Nothing complicated. He had access to Premiere Pro, but he didn't want anything anywhere near as complicated as that. He just wanted to do some simple tutorials for a platform at work. So he was going to sh share this with work colleagues. And he wanted to add some very simple annotations, a little bit of some pictures, nothing too fancy, right? Uh, and, and it needed to be easy. So for that reason, I recommended Screencast-O-Matic to him. Now, I know for yourself, uh, and if you end up watching this later, the firm in UK, I know that you ended up purchasing Camtasia 9. So I want to say, awesome, great. I'm so, so happy that you've made that decision. Um, and by the sounds of it, you found Premiere Pro really fiddly, and I'm in that same camp as well. So I know you're going to derive value from Camtasia 9 as quickly as possible. So that sounds like the right choice for you. So the question is, why didn't I recommend Camtasia 9 to the, this friend of mine who I called Cyril in that video? Because based on what he told me, it seems like he just didn't, he didn't need it. He didn't need it, in my opinion. My opinion is that you don't always need the most expensive premium solution to get the thing done. And, um, and I'm not suggesting for yourself, um, the firm in UK, that you're in this category. I'm just speaking for myself and others out there who uh, maybe had just getting into video in some way, shape, or form. But I know for myself and for others, uh, we can fall into this trap of um, getting ex obsessed and comparing and looking at the most expensive piece of equipment, camera, um, at the most fancy thing out there, and that alone can prevent us from getting started with, with video. And again, I'm, uh, for yourself, the firm in UK, I'm not suggesting you're in that camp. Um, but I recommended Screencast-O-Matic to uh, that colleague or that friend of mine because it was the minimum viable solution to help him reap the benefits of screen capture as quickly as possible. Because for starters, the technical editing was going to be a barrier for entry and he was going to have to convince his managers about getting a solution. So that was gonna be the minimum viable solution for him. And, and this is the benefits I wanted for him and I want for you, for, for you watching this, these are the benefits I want for you in your personal, um, in your hobby or your professional life for using screen capture of any form. I want you to be understood the first time. Not the third or fourth or fifth time when you're sending an email to a work colleague, the first time. That's what I want for you. I want you to build knowledge assets that will help you and your team be more productive. That's the bottom line. Video in business for, for training and support will make your business run smoother, better, more productive in the long run. And finally, I want to get rid of the stress and confusion of getting things done. Just being able to know what you need to do by looking at a, a resource like a screen capture and know what you need to do the first time. Less mistakes, less stress, less confusion. I want that for you. So what, when would I recommend Camtasia 9? So here are some reasons I would recommend it. It is a premium solution. It is a premium screen recorder and video editor. 
So if you wanna make high-end software demonstrations, use Camtasia, uh, Camtasia 9. I've used it, I use it every week. I use it nearly every day for my freelance work on the side. So I know that it works very, very well in that sense. Um, if you wanna make premium tutorials like what you see on the TechSmith channel, uh, then that will this tool, Camtasia 9, will help you to do that. If you wanna make great looking marketing videos with transitions and animations, Camtasia 9 is well suited for that. If you wanna make training and support materials in the workplace, then Camtasia 9 will definitely do that in an engaging way. Uh, if you wanna convert your PowerPoint presentations and webinars into a great looking video, same thing, it's good for e-learning. And the most important benefit I see from Camtasia 9, it is so ridiculously easy to use. So easy to use. It um, Drag drop features, I love it. I think it's, it's so good in that sense. But here's the thing. You are paying for that ease of use. That, that ease of use of being able to drag and drop a behavior onto the timeline and then be able to just quickly make a few changes and then have text come in and come out or things fade in and fade out. That comes with a price tag. In the US, you're paying $249 for the latest version of Camtasia 9. Or if you're in Australia, which is where I'm from, $326.69 for that solution. Now look, for some of you, that, that may not be much at all. In fact, some of you might be thinking that's heaps cheaper than having to pay um, uh, for a yearly subscription for Premiere Pro and, and all the other stuff that goes with it. That's heaps cheaper. I, I'm happy to pay that price. If you're in that camp, then by all means, go get it and you will, you will be happy with that solution, I guarantee you. But if that is a barrier for you, if that upfront cost of 249 US or 326 Australian dollars is gonna be a barrier for you, don't let it be. Don't let that be the barrier for you to get into this. That's why I recommended Screencast-O-Matic. And here is why I think Screencast-O-Matic for some people and some situations, it would be a better way to go than, than forking out that money for uh, Camtasia 9. It is only $18 US a year. That is peanuts, absolute peanuts. Imagine like, it, that's a, the biggest, easiest sell to your manager. If you want them to start making training videos for internal use or for support videos, Screencast-O-Matic is, is so easy to sell to your manager. Or people higher up, $18 US a year subscription. It is a fast, quick, an easy solution for anyone to start recording your screen and um, making videos of, of any kind. Uh, it, it is trusted by millions of people, people in education, people in, in business, in everyday, uh, in, in the office, use in the office, or, or, or gamers who like to record their screen. It is better than like Bandicam, which I know a lot of, I, I see some gamers use that or for their tutorials. Um, it is, I think, a very, it will do the job. This is what I'm trying to say. It will do the job. And the video editing suite on Screencast-O-Matic is easy enough to use. It's easy enough to use. And this is where, um, if we have if we have anyone viewing here, or, or later on down the track, I want to know, what are you currently using? What do you use for your uh, screen capture solution? There's more than one thing out there. There's plenty of tools that you can use um, to get the job done. I'm, I'm seeing more and more software solutions or updates to software that are coming out. And even like, uh, when was it today? I believe Cyberlink has a version three of their screen recorder, a premium version, which has uh, streaming solutions there. So I think they're really targeting the gaming market with that. Uh, so there's no lack of choice. There are so many choices out there. It's just like, what tool, what's the one tool that I can use today to start making something? And for that situation with um, Cyril, I called him Cyril in that video. If you just want to get up and running with something, then Screencast-O-Matic may, may well be that thing for you. Now, is Screencast-O-Matic perfect? Of course not. There are some things that you, you just wouldn't use it for. For starters, I wouldn't use it for my freelance work. It, it doesn't cut the mustard. It does not allow me enough editing 
flexibility to do what I want to do. Nowhere near the level of animations that I like to be able to, to do for my clients. So in terms of high-end demonstrations or if you're doing more high-end marketing videos, then I don't think Screencast-O-Matic is, is for you. Get something like Camtasia or ScreenFlow for that matter. I, I've, I've heard good things of that one too. I just haven't used it. Um, but if you're an everyday person in the office who wants to start making some quick and easy demonstrations for your work colleagues or for your clients or for support, then Screencast-O-Matic is easy to get started today um, and to e easily share those videos too. It was something else I think is actually a really good thing with Screencast-O-Matic. And it's not going to break the bank. So th those are the reasons. And I hope that answers your question in more depth at the firm in UK that um, even though I love Camtasia 9, I just I think for some people it's overkill, especially if, if it's if price is a barrier to them. And I don't want that to be a barrier for, for yourself, but that's it's no longer an issue for you because you've got Camtasia now. But for anyone else who is umming and ahhing about what they need to get, and they just need if they just need something that's quick and easy, fast, screen cam, screencast automatic will do the job. Screencastify is also on, on par in terms of price and usability, and it's just a Chrome extension. So, and that there are so many of these kinds of options out there. I'm just using, the, I'm just telling you the ones that I know of, and there's, there's so many. And a Screencast-O-Matic is one that I've used in the workplace a, a lot. I've used it a lot. I, I used it this week even, and it's, it's, it's the way to go. So what are your thoughts on this? Are you the type of person that has to get, feels like you, you don't care, you just, you want, you need the premium solution? Are you that type of person? You just you would just rather go and bite the bullet and get the most expensive thing up front. Are you that type of person? Let me know. Or if you're if you have Screencast-O-Matic, what's your experience with it? Do you love it? Do you find it frustrating? Um, is it just something you have to use because it's the only thing you have available? So I'd love to hear from from you, uh, those who are using Screencast-O-Matic or other types of screen recording software. So. Um, that that was it for today. I just really wanted to go in more depth into that question. I had already answered uh, the firm in UK's question before. I just thought it'd be good to just lay out those thoughts and to get it out there. And this is what I'm about. I'm here to help you make better training videos. And, and not just for training per se, but any type of tutorial or anything where you're trying to communicate visually with video, with GIFs, with um, screenshots, with annotations, that sort of stuff it is my thing. So if you're here for the first time, if you're viewing this for the uh, later on down the track and, and you want to be able to communicate visually, be understood the first time, be more productive for yourself and for your team, then consider subscribing. And I'm going to be putting stuff out every single week and you can look at my other tutorials to help you use Camtasia more effectively. You can see some of, some of my reviews on the channel as well. So look, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.